G'day folks, I'm Rex Hunt and thanks for joining us. I tell you what, there's a bit of frost on the pumpkin outside, but we've got some hot fishing action for you. Today on Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures, we devote the whole show to tracking down the elusive yellow tail kingfish. And folks, the human broom Bushy and I head to the kingfish rich waters off the Gold Coast, and boy, do we strike it rich. Tell you what, Bushy, I was absolutely honoured to ride in your new acquisition. We must be paying you too much, are we, at Rex Hunt? That's the Rex Hunt U Butte uh, car. I think it is the K Bush artificial reef to go on the 40 fathom mark here <laughs> off uh, Tweet Heads. Shh, not shh, shh, Tweet Heads. Now, I've introduced the folks to many people before. But I really can't say that we're going out with Peter Bollock and his Dicky John on no, the after charters. Everyone will be out if we... Uh... So don't tell anyone, folks. We've been promised a yellowtail kingfish. And a big one. We've been promised a lot of things before. Let's see if they produce the goods. Keep it to yourself. Let's go, Bushy. Fun, are you? That's what fishing's supposed to be, you idiot. This is, this is serious business here. We're supposed to be. Uh... Talk to the kids about the fact that you and I sometimes can't get off the bait ground. <laughs> well, especially for the kids, this bait fishing's supposed to be deadly serious. We're supposed to be collecting bait so we go out and catch real fish, but Rexy and I are having a ball here on these small fish. And uh, the gear that we're using is just a light spinning reel and a fairly light rod and line about 10 pound so we can get quite a bit of distance with the little jigs. And that means that we can cover schools of fish if these things pop up on the surface, which they're doing. Very busy here, folks. The boys with the big alvies are going well with the live bait and Bushy and I <laughs> having a little bit of fun here and that's what it's all about. Just testing out a little bit of new gear. Three kilo line, this is a Benito. What a nice looking fish. And I tell you what, Come here, mate. He's got teeth in there, so we'll watch him. And the main difference, Bushy, if I can have that one, between the two is the fact is you, you've got a Mac tuna on the bottom and a Bonito on the top. You can see the Mac tuna. He's got all that motley business on the top, and he's a real speedster. And that particular Bonito, recognised by a lot of people as the chicken of the sea. I tell you what, I think I'd rather eat an emu. But still, some people's taste buds are you know where, folks. Sorry about the water on the lens. I'll be back in a minute. Tell you what, in such a deep, deep ocean area, 
That is just fantastic to be using two ounce sinker on a heavy outfit like this, 50 pound gel spun, charter special rod. I'll tell you what, you can really put the fun back into deep sea bottom bouncing like this. Just lifting and winding, putting minimum effort on the fish. And I reckon we might have a couple here. We've got a couple of good live baits again. The top one and the bottom one are exactly the same. Some sort of trevally. I tell you what, they're beautiful looking fish. But I reckon going live bait again, we'll get our decky John to look after these because we're here for a bit of bottom bouncing, folks, and we're going to do that to the best of our ability. But we're also here chasing a yellowtail kingfish. So stick around, because coming up after the break, we hope we're going to show you what we're talking about. This is Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures with a frog in his throat. <laughs> Wahoo!